नमस्कार दिस इज अंश खुर्राना एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू ट्रैवल वर्ल्ड ऑनलाइन रेडियो न्यूज हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द डे गोवा टूरिज्म पुल इज बियॉन्ड सन सैंड एंड बीचेस रोहन खोंते डी यू डिजिटल ग्लोबल पार्टनर्स विद ट्रैवल बिजनेस एप टू एनहैंस वीजा एप्लीकेशन सर्विसेज फॉर ट्रैवल एजेंट्स नेशन वाइड मॉस्को प्रेजेंट्स इट्स टूरिज्म पोटेंशियल एट साथ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर इंटरनेशनल एग्जीबिशन इन इंडिया द फर्स्ट इंटरनेशनल ऑफिस ऑफ कजक टूरिज्म ओपन्स इन इंडिया एयर इंडिया एक्सप्रेस बिगिन्स डेली फ्लाइट्स कनेक्टिंग मुंबई एंड कोजिकोड एटीएम टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर टू फोकस ऑन इंडियाज आउट बाउंड टूरिज्म पोटेंशियल नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल In a departure from the usual perception of Goa as primarily a beach destination, Rohan Khonte, the state's minister for tourism, IT, electronics and communication and printing and stationery, highlighted the wide array of tourism experiences that Goa has to offer. Speaking at the South Asia's Travel and Tourism Exchange, Satte 2024 in Greater Noida, Khonte emphasized Goa's rich offerings in history, culture, heritage unique festivals culinary delights and rural tourism in his address khonte said goa is stepping beyond its iconic image as just a beach destination we are the first state in india to introduce a model for regenerative tourism showcasing our commitment to sustainable and holistic tourist experiences adding to this initiative the goa department of tourism has entered into a landmark memorandum of understanding more with make my trip one of the leaders in the online travel space this partnership the first of its kind in a public private collaboration aims to transform goa into a vibrant year round tourism hub extending beyond its traditional allure of sun sand and beaches the partnership with make my trip is expected to boost goa's visibility as a multifaceted tourism destination and facilitate ease of travel for tourists seeking varied experiences we are also committed to strengthening international connectivity to goa making it more accessible to tourists from across the globe conte added highlighting efforts to enhance goa's appeal to a global audience A key initiative under Goa's regenerative tourism model is the launch of the Ek Disha Tirtha campaign. This innovative campaign aims to connect 11 significant places of worship in Goa, creating a unique travel circuit that offers spiritual, cultural, and historical insights into the region. This initiative not only diversifies the tourist experience in Goa but also promotes religious and cultural tourism. DU Digital Global a specialized provider of comprehensive visa application centers and visa services has joined hands with travel business app through this collaboration travel agents affiliated with travel business app will gain direct access to dhu digital global's extensive visa services this integration promises to simplify the visa application process for travelers ensuring a more streamlined and hassle-free experience Travel agents will benefit from an expanded portfolio of services enabling them to offer comprehensive travel solutions to their clients. This collaboration was officially unveiled at the South Asia's Travel and Tourism Exchange Satte event currently underway in Greater Noida. Shivaj Rai, non-executive director at Do Digital Global, and Anil Sharma, director of Do App Technologies, the innovator behind Travel Business App made the announcement in a joint session do digital global a leader in providing comprehensive visa application centers and visa services is renowned for its role as a crucial intermediary between visa applicants and embassies facilitating a smooth and efficient application process with a strong track record of over 15 years in the industry DU Digital has established its footprint in more than 35 centers across several countries, processing over 5 million applications to date. The company has ambitious plans to expand its services to over 100 centers nationwide within the next 2 years, aiming to make visa applications more accessible to a larger audience. Moscow Tourism is taking part in the largest international travel and tourism trade fair Satte. South Asia's Travel and Tourism Exchange, 
that is taking place in Greater Noida, NCR, India from February 22nd to 24th. The delegation is one of the largest at the event. It includes representatives of the Moscow City Tourism Committee, the Made in Moscow project team, and other representatives of the city's tourism industry. Representatives of the Moscow City Tourism Committee took part in several business sessions and presented the capital's flagship projects during the first day of the event on 22nd February. For example, during the discussion on cultural heritage, the Tourism Committee highlighted about the Moscow Estates Festival, which has already gained popularity among foreign tourists last summer and this winter. Moscow is among the world leaders in terms of the number of historical mansions. More than 2,000 architectural monuments have been restored in Moscow over 12 years. The festival allows guests to immerse themselves in the history of manners through theatrical tours, master classes, and other unusual events. This interactive format of studying cultural heritage is especially suitable for children and young people. Visitors to the festival, including tourists, appreciate the recreated atmosphere and the opportunity to take beautiful photographs. Another flagship project of the capital is Moscow Tea Time. At the Moscow exhibition stand guests can taste tea blends and learn about the Moscow tea traditions. The project takes place right now in Moscow hotels and restaurants. Every day from 16 o'clock to 19 o'clock, visitors can try different tea time sets, offering a variety of jams and pastries. Moscow hosts over 350 colorful cultural and entertainment events every day, which are suitable for both young people and families with children. Business travelers are united through international forums and congresses. For Indian tourists, Moscow is not only a city of impressions, but also a convenient metropolis for traveling. We have more than 19,000 gastronomic establishments, including restaurants serving Indian cuisine. Hotels are developing offers specifically for guests from India, and tourist navigation is duplicated in foreign languages, which makes the trip even more comfortable, said Evgeny Kojlov, first deputy head of the office of the mayor and the government of Moscow, chairman of the Moscow City Tourism Committee. As part of the Satte business program, interregional routes of the Moscow Plus project were presented. Foreign travelers, including guests from India, often seek to combine visits to several cities in one trip. That is why the capital as a transport hub, from where travelers most often start their journeys around the country demonstrated ready-made tourist offers combining Moscow and other regions, St. Petersburg, Cumin, Moscow region. Russian tour operators, participants of the project, discussed their package offers for the Indian tourist market. Moscow is a recognized center of commerce and offers a wide range of shops and brands. At the exhibition, the city presented a rich assortment of traditional souvenirs made by participants of the Made in Moscow project. Sixteen Moscow entrepreneurs brought goods in various categories, grooming cosmetics, home fragrances, horicier, hotel, restaurant, catering cafe, children's products, accessories, as well as vegetarian and vegan products, which were of particular interest to Indian consumers. Cooperation between Moscow and India is developing rapidly both in the sphere of classic tourist trips and business tourism. Business visits have become one of the most popular purposes of trips from India to Moscow. Representatives of the Moscow City Tourism Committee talked about the opportunities of Moscow within the framework of business tourism. For example, the Moscow City Tourism Committee shared the successful experience of organizing the International Conference Meet Global Mice Congress in the field of business tourism in the Russian capital. The Giesel Theatre, which is rightfully a visiting card of Moscow, also performed at the exhibition. It is a unique dance company that combines folk and ballroom dance, as well as classical ballet in its repertoire. Giesel successfully tours all over the world, Introducing the audience to the bright folk traditions. On 22nd February, Kairat Sadvaksov, chairman of the board, 
Kazakh Tourism National Company participated in the opening ceremony of South Asia's largest international tourism exhibition, Satte 2024 taking place in Greater Noida. The event was attended by the Head of Indian Tourism, the Minister of Tourism and Creative Economy of Indonesia, the Head of the Asia-Pacific Tourism Association, PATA, and the Heads of Tourism Departments from Moscow, Belarus, among others. As part of the exhibition, a representative for Kazakh tourism in the Indian market was appointed. Kairat Sadvaksov awarded the corresponding certificate to Prashant Chaudhary, the head of Salvia Promoters. The company specializes in promoting the markets of Central Asia and Russia. For Kazakhstan's tourism, this is a new step in international promotion. We are pleased that in India, one of the most promising outbound tourism markets in the world, we now have our representative. We plan to scale this experience to our other target markets, noted Sadvakso. I am honored to represent Kazakhstan tourism in India. Kazakhstan is the world's largest landlocked country with diverse landscapes, lively city life and rich archaeological history. With visa-free travel for Indian passport holders and three airline options having direct flights from Delhi as well Mumbai to Almaty, Kazakhstan offers to be a great short-haul destination for Indian travellers. Other than Almaty, Indian travellers are now also travelling to Astana, Shimkent, which just comes to show the untapped enormous potential Kazakhstan holds, shared Prashant Chaudhary. The agreement stipulates cooperation aimed at attracting tourist groups from India to Kazakhstan, as well as representing the interests of Kazakh tourism in this significant outbound tourism market. Chaudhary has over 20 years of experience in promoting and marketing territories. He is a graduate of the Tashkent State Technical University and is fluent in Russian. Furthermore, Chaudhary's company annually organizes the arrival of Indian journalists to all its partner destinations. This, in turn, ensures significant coverage in leading Indian newspapers and travel-themed magazines. The first joint activity was participation in the Satte exhibition and the upcoming organization of Indian travel journalists' visit to Kazakhstan in the first half of this year. According to experts, by 2026, the Indian outbound tourism market is expected to reach more than 50 million tourists. Meanwhile, Chaudhary is hoping that by 2026, Kazakhstan could potentially be hosting up to 500,000 Indian tourists annually. Air India Express has announced the launch of operations connecting Mumbai and Kojikode with daily direct flights. Kojikode has played a key role in the journey of Air India Express since its inception and is the airline's largest base for international operations with 101 weekly flights. The maiden flight from Mumbai to Kojikode sector commenced on Thursday, 22 February. Air India Express connects Kojikode directly to 15 domestic and international destinations including Bangalore, Bahrain, Kuwait, Muscat, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Doha, Jeddah, Riyadh and Dammam, among others. Air India Express also offers convenient one-stop itineraries to 19 destinations from the city including Ayodhya, Delhi, Kolkata, Bhuvneshwar, and Chennai. Kojikode is one of the fastest-growing urban districts in India and serves as the gateway to the Malabar region of Kerala. The direct flight connecting the city with India's financial capital will create several growth opportunities for the region. Air India Express operates 112 weekly flights from Mumbai, connecting the city of dreams to domestic and international destinations like Bangalore, Delhi Bhuvneshwar, Goa, Jaipur, Rachi, Madurai, Lucknow, Srinagar, Dammam, Sharjah, and now Kojikod. The airline also offers convenient one-stop connectivity to 34 domestic and international destinations including Ayodhya, Varanasi, Kolkata, Chennai, Lucknow, Gwalior, Dubai, Doha, and Singapore. With the Indian outbound market forecast to be worth $143.5 billion annually by the end of this decade, the Indian tourism sector will come under the spotlight during Arabian Travel Market, ATM, 
2024, which returns to the Dubai World Trade Center, DWTC, for its 31st edition from 6 to 9 May. According to a report by Booking.com and McKinsey, 70% of Indians traveling overseas choose nearby destinations, with one-third choosing destinations in the Middle East. The UA is the top regional destination, followed by Saudi Arabia. According to the debt, India is Dubai's top source market, with 1.9 million visitors in the first 10 months of 2023. Saudi Arabia is aiming for 7.5 million visitors by 2030. To illustrate the sheer size and potential growth of India's overall outbound market, prior to the pandemic in 2019, Indians made 26.9 million overseas trips. The report predicts that by 2030, that number could increase to 50 million departures. Daniel Kardis, Exhibition Director Me, Arabian Travel Market, said the boom in outbound travel from India is being driven primarily by the growing middle class. In 2020, only 37 million households had annual income between $10,000 and up to $35,000, but due to India's rapid economic growth, by 2030 that number will rise significantly to 177 million households. More specifically, Households earning over $35,000 per annum will also increase from 2 million in 2020 to 13 million by 2030, a six-fold increase. And with India's median age being just 28 years, it's little wonder that the Unvoto recognizes India as one of the top three fastest growing outbound markets in the world. By 2030, India's total travel expenditure will be valued at $410 billion. Putting that into perspective, prior to COVID, in 2019, it was worth just $150 billion, an increase of 173%. Furthermore, it is not just the volume of Indian travelers that is getting Middle East destinations excited. According to a survey by ACO Insurance, the majority of Indian travelers who responded were willing to spend up to $7,000 on international trips. Another reason already alluded to is the close proximity of the Gulf states. Dubai is the most popular city destination for Indian travelers, just three hours flight time from Mumbai. In addition, increased connectivity and affordable air travel from tier two cities are also driving demand, particularly direct flights with low-cost carriers. And with over 8.5 million Indian expatriates currently working in the GCC, business travel and leisure will undoubtedly underpin this growth, added Kardis. ATM 2024 is expecting a record number of travel professionals representing outbound as well as inbound travel to India. Delegates, exhibitors and attendees will be given ample opportunity to network and make new and business contacts as well as the opportunity to explore the Indian travel sector through various show features, including a dedicated India Summit, which will look deeper into this vibrant market. ATM 2024 will feature a dedicated India Summit entitled Unlocking the True Potential of Inbound Indian Travellers, which will take place at ATM's global stage on day one of the show, Monday 6th May, from 14.45 to 15.25 in conjunction with Vedic Consultants Private Limited. The summit will explore the dynamics of India as a key source market for tourism growth, as well as current and future opportunities.